On the day of her wedding, Tang Wan was publicly withdrawn from her marriage. She followed a man as a substitute, but to her surprise, she provoked the powerful Mr. Lu San. Rumors have it that Lu Ziyang has lost six fiancés and is still a disabled person who cannot perform human duties. Everyone mocked Tang Wan for being a widow, but she looked at her handsome husband sitting in a wheelchair and secretly rejoiced, I just like being a widow. After marriage, Tang Wanya was bullied every night, and she was furious. Aren't you disabled? Let's say who fouls first and who is the dog. The third master hugged her waist with a seductive smile and said, Wow, wow. Keywords of the novel. Wedding night, disabled husband stand up without pop-ups, wedding night, disabled husband stand up. TXT complete collection download, wedding night, disabled husband stand up latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Foolish women withdraw marriage in public. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 1. Foolish Women Withdraw Marriage in Public Imperial Capital, International Hotel. The wedding scene of the two families of Lu and Tang is romantic and warm, and all guests are looking forward to the appearance of a new couple. Divorce. Roars of anger came from the hall. Lu Cheng, the general manager of the Lu group, trembled as he pointed at his son and said, You bastard, what are you talking about? The groom, Lu Tianxi, blushed and roared with drunkenness, Dad, let me marry this fool. I'd rather die. The roar of anger came, and the elegant music came to a sudden halt, causing an uproar at the scene. The Lu and Tang families are one of the three major families in the imperial capital, and their wedding is highly anticipated. The wealthy families and media in the entire imperial capital were present, but the Lu family unexpectedly withdrew from marriage in public. At this moment, everyone's gaze turned to the young girl wearing a pure white wedding dress on stage, with the veil covering half of her face. She is the fourth miss of the Tang family, and today's bride is Tang Wan. At this moment, Tang Wan completely ignored everything that happened and happily ate lollipops like a child. No one in the imperial capital knew that the Tang family only had three daughters, and now suddenly a fourth miss appeared. Legend has it that Miss Tang Si has a red face and an extremely ugly face like Zhong Kue. When I was a child, I rolled down the stairs and broke my brain, turning into a fool with an IQ of only seven or eight years old. The most explosive thing is still her identity, she is actually an illegitimate daughter of the Tang family who is not even worthy of being included in the family genealogy. The young master of the Lu group, Lu Tianxi, is charming and charming, and is a famous romantic prodigal in the imperial capital. There are countless beautiful women around him, so naturally he doesn't like Tang Wan, who is both ugly and foolish. If it weren't for the financial crisis of the Tang group, the Tang family would have had no choice but to bring Miss Si back from the countryside and marry her to the Lu family. She was just a sacrifice for the Tang family's exchange of interests in this marriage. If it weren't for her reluctance to part with her own daughter, she would have married Tang Wan, a foolish girl, to Lu Tianxi, the Sea King. Now, being publicly divorced and humiliated, Tang Wan's stepmother Qin Lan's face is almost ruined. This silly girl is also the daughter of the Tang family, so insulting her is simply not worth considering. Lu Qing covered his chest and his face turned pale with anger, pointing at his son and saying, You, say it again. Lu Tianxi drank a few more glasses of wine and used his strength to speak on the spot, whoever is willing to marry, I won't marry her even if I die. He looked disdainfully at Tang Wan on stage, who was only focused on eating lollipops, and then turned around to leave after throwing away these words. The groom publicly regretted his marriage, causing chaos in the Lu and Tang families. Tang Wan became the laughing stock of the whole audience, and just as everyone didn't know how to end the scene, her eyes flickered with a calm light. She was originally worried about how to divorce after marrying Lu Tianxi, but unexpectedly, this person voluntarily withdrew from the marriage. She was very satisfied with this result, and Tang Wan's lips with a lollipop showed a casual smile. Watching her marriage fail, Qin Lan angrily grabbed the lollipop from her hand and threw it fiercely onto the ground. 
My husband has already run away, and you're still eating lollipops. I'll tell you to eat. Woo woo, my lollipop. Tang Wan cried as she looked at the broken lollipop on the ground. You give it back to me. Shut up, cry and kill you again. Qin Lan tightly squeezed her arm and warned softly with a gloomy face. Foolish girl, I warn you, if you don't marry into the Lu family today, you know the consequences. Tang Wan is very clear that she must marry into the Lu family today to get the contract, otherwise her mother's life at the Tang family will be even more difficult. After her father's death, her weak and glaring mother lost her shelter and was bound to be tortured to death by this vicious woman, Qin Lan. Tang Wan looked at the crowd and a man caught her eye. The man is about twenty-seven or eight years old, with his cold and stern cheeks outlining the ultimate outline, and his strong aura is complemented by a blue suit. In the noisy group, he was the only one who stood out from the crowd, and instead watched everything that happened with great interest. It seems to be him. Tang Wan slowly walked towards the man, and a crisp voice came through. I'm missing a groom when I get married today. Would uncle be willing to marry me? End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Idiot paired with disability, perfect pairing. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Idiot paired with disability, perfect pairing This statement made an outstanding person exclaim in surprise, and stepmother Qin Lan's face instantly collapsed. Tang Wan are you crazy? This is marriage, not just a family affair. Miss Tang, the fourth miss of the Tang family, is indeed a fool. Even if she was publicly withdrawn, she proposed to another man. The turning point was so fast that it was hard to react. The man slowly lifted his head and met her gaze, with a handsome and beautiful appearance like an iceberg. His deep pool like eyes were so cold that Tang Wan's heart seemed to skip a beat. The man's eyes flickered with surprise at Tang Wan's words, but he quickly regained his composure. He looked at her with great interest, his thin lips slightly parted, and said, Do you want me to marry you? Tang Wan admired his handsome and cold face, exclaiming and giggling foolishly at him. Wow! Uncle, you look really beautiful. Mom said she wants to marry a man who looks good. The scene exploded instantly and everyone was stunned, even stepmother Qin Lan was at a loss. The man in front of Tang Wan is not an ordinary person, he is Lu Jiang, the chairman of the Lu group. The media's camera frantically aimed at the two people, waiting for further development. Everyone was discussing, Tang Wan is not only foolish but also crazy. How dare she ask to marry Lu Jiang? Isn't this fool aware of Lu Jiang's wife? It is said that six fiancés have already died. Yeah, I heard that Lu Jiang is disabled and inhumane. Is she trying to stay widowed? Dot. Lu Jiang looked at Tang Wan in front of him with gloomy eyes, and some memories gradually surged into his heart. Looking through the thin veil at those clear eyes, and the crisp voice, there was an inexplicable sense of familiarity. The young girl in front of me doesn't seem like a crude and foolish country girl no matter what. Lu Jiang surprisingly showed some interest in this little woman and said, Miss Tang, are you sure you want to marry me? Lu Jiang is known as Lu Sanyi. Three years ago, a car accident resulted in his legs being disabled and he couldn't take care of himself, so he could only sit in a wheelchair. There are rumors from the outside that Lu Jiang's car accident is closely related to his elder brother Lu Cheng. Although they are brothers, it is well known that they are not compatible behind their backs. Lu Jiang is the younger brother of Lu Cheng, also known as the uncle of Lu Tianxi. His nephew's wedding caused a scandal of public withdrawal, and he didn't even have time to watch the show. How could he possibly become the receiver? Moreover, she is an ugly and foolish illegitimate daughter. Tang Wan listened to the surroundings and saw Lu Jiang sitting in a wheelchair, waving his hand seriously and showing a silly smile. Uncle, have you lost six fiancé AES? Mom said my fate is hard, I'm not afraid. All the daughters of the emperor avoided marrying the king of hell, 
but this foolish girl took the initiative to ask for marriage. Hard fate is not afraid. This woman is really interesting. Okay, I promise you, said Lu Jiang with a hint of a smile in his eyes when everyone thought it was impossible to succeed, he actually agreed to the proposal. This result is truly unbelievable, and both Lu Cheng and the guests were amazed. Lu Cheng immediately stepped forward and stopped, saying, it's too absurd. This is absolutely not acceptable. Big brother, why not? Lu Jiang looked at him coldly. From now on, Miss Tang will be your younger siblings. Please pay attention to your speaking skills, big brother. Lu Cheng's face was pitch black, biting his back teeth. Even if he was the eldest brother, he dared not inquire about his marriage. The dog blood plot of changing the groom temporarily has a two-dot level reversal, and the daughter dot in dot law becomes younger siblings. Qin Lan was quite satisfied with this result, after all, Tang Wan, this foolish girl, accidentally married the disabled Lu Jiang, which was better than marrying Lu Tianxi. Lu Jiang is the chairman of the Lu group, and his status is much more prestigious than that of the son of the general manager. Trading a little fool for a billion-dollar contract can earn the Tang family a fortune. Amidst the uproar, the wedding of the Lu and Tang families continued as usual, and Lu Jiang was pushed onto the wedding stage in a wheelchair. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Don't marry a scumbag and marry a uncle. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 don't marry a scumbag and marry a uncle faced with such a turning point, the host became so nervous that he began to stutter when speaking. Mr. Lu Jiang, are you willing to marry Miss Tang Wan? Regardless of birth, aging, illness, poverty, wealth, or status, love her for a lifetime. Lu Jiang looked at Tang Wan and said, I am willing. Under the stage, Lu Chen clenched his fists tightly, and by this time his face had completely turned pale. What exactly does this Lu Jiang mean? It's clearly intentional to make him look bad in public. In the future, cooperation with the Tang group may fall into his hands. If you want to blame him, you have to blame his unpopular son. Who made him lose his mind and insist on publicly withdrawing. The host looked at Tang Wan again and said, Miss Tang Wan, are you willing to marry Mr. Lu Jiang? Regardless of birth, aging, illness, poverty, wealth, or status, are you willing to love him for a lifetime? Tang Wan quickly replied, I am willing. The host announced, Congratulations on getting married, the groom can kiss his mother now. Kissing the bride. Lu Jiang is a disabled person sitting in a wheelchair. How can he stand up and kiss this silly girl? This fool is a perfect match for a disabled person and everyone in the audience is waiting to see a joke. Amidst murmurs of mockery from around, Tang Wan slowly lifted her veil to reveal her true face. Lu Jiang looked up at the girl in front of him, his gaze slightly stunned. Tang Wan's eyebrows and eyes were delicate, her skin was like condensed fat, and her pure and clear eyes twinkled like stars. Lu Jiang, who had always been indifferent, had a hint of amazement in his eyes. This woman's face was not covered in red spots, but clearly had a stunning appearance. Tang Wan was looked at by Lu Jiang like this, showing a silly smile, and took the initiative to bend down and kiss his thin lips. The gentle touch carried a sweet taste, but this kiss left Lu Jiang feeling unsatisfied. The scene was silent, and it was probably the only foolish girl in the world who dared to kiss Lu Jiang. The rumor is indeed true, Miss Lu Si is not only a fool but also ignorant and fearless. In the end, the wedding ended in a dog blood reversal. After the wedding, Tang Wan was directly sent to the Lu family villa by her subordinates. Squeak On the dark villa corridor, the door to the deepest room on the second floor was pushed open. The butler led Tang Wan to the door of the room and said, Madam, Third Lord has been waiting for you for a long time. Tang Wan slowly walked into the room, and the two maids quickly closed the door. She stopped in front of the door, and outside the door came people with mocking prompts. 
Third master is physically unable to move, please take the initiative, madam. Today is your wedding night, so we won't disturb you. She's a little fool, can you understand when you tell her these things? He he he. Dot. Tang Wan looked around alertly, the room dimly lit, and the goose yellow wall lamps emitted a gentle glow. Wow. The sound of water came from the bathroom. Next came a deep, magnetic voice. Come in. Tang Wan walked into the bathroom, with a faint herbal fragrance emanating from the moisture. Under the white mist, a figure leaned against the edge of the steps made of goose warm stones. The flowing mermaid line on the upper body exposed from the hot spring reveals a robust figure at a glance. Lu Jiang, who was soaking in a medicinal bath, had a cold and stern face with his eyes tightly closed, and his side face had perfect lines. Tang Wan originally thought that Lu Jiang must be very weak due to his legs being disabled. I didn't expect his figure to be so robust, completely overturning her previous ideas. Lu Jiang glanced at Tang Wan who was standing at the door with a cold voice and said, Have you seen enough? Come here. He cherishes words like gold, and his commanding tone is irresistible. He looked at Tang Wan dumbfounded and said, What are you going to do? Do you want me to teach you? Today she proposed in public, as she has become the wife of Lu Jiang. Even a fool can understand that taking care of her disabled husband's bathing is her duty as a wife. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Silly Girl Taking Advantage of Him You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 5 Women, Don't Want to Climb Onto My Bed You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Women don't want to climb onto my bed the soft little hand even pinched his slender thigh and dared to touch him. The silly girl was indeed pretending to be foolish. Lu Jiang frowned tightly, with a murderous aura in her eyes. You're looking for death. At this moment, Tang Wan's crisp voice came. Uncle, I can cure your leg. Lu Jiang's gaze instantly settled, and his cold lips slowly withdrew from her swan neck, saying, what are you saying? Tang Wan's hand was still on his leg, and she repeated, Uncle, I said you can cure your leg. This woman's marriage to him, who is disabled, was indeed a conspiracy, but upon probing it, she immediately stopped pretending. Lu Jiang grabbed the hand he was touching and said, You idiot, how dare you falsely claim to be able to treat my leg disease. Tang Wan pouted angrily and said, I'm not stupid, you're stupid. Lu Jiang sneered softly and squeezed her neck with one hand. He seemed to have seen through everything, with a murderous aura hidden in his eyes. Stop pretending, you don't want to live today. Cough cough. Tang Wan was choked by him, almost gasping for breath. Lu Jiang ordered his subordinates to investigate Tang Wan's news early in the morning and was well versed in the matter. It is rumored that this silly girl lived with an old Chinese medicine practitioner and learned medical skills from him when she was in the countryside. Just now she was groping on his leg for a while. Did she just notice something, or was she trying to be mysterious? Tang Wan patted his hand and struggled, Woo Woo, I don't want to die, let go of me. Uncle, your legs are already healed. If you can't stand up, it must be because your blood hasn't cleared. I can cure it. Lu Jiang hesitated in his gaze and slowly released his neck. Hu 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 hu. Tang Wantong gasped for breath and quietly tucked away the silver needle in her finger. Lu Jiang concealed his murderous aura and sneered softly, Madam, what if you can't cure it? Tang Wan confidently and sincerely said, If I can't cure you, you'll spank me. Lu Jiang's eyes were like deep pools, repeatedly scrutinizing Tang Wan in front of him with a silly expression. He had a hint of playing with fire in his danger. Okay, I promise you. Tang Wan quietly breathed a sigh of relief. Currently, it is safe, and indeed, the conditions she offered cannot be refused by Lu Jiang. Lu Jiang's strong arms supported his body as he emerged from the bathtub, and his arms had bulging veins. 
Kang Wan helped him sit in a wheelchair, and Lu Jiang, dressed in a bathrobe, came out of the bathroom. At this moment, she had already packed up and lay in bed. Lu Jiang frowned slightly and said, What are you doing? Sleep. Tang Wan put on the blanket and said, Mom said we should sleep together when we get married. Tang Wan obediently lay down, licking strawberry lollipops happily, and the lollipops fell onto the bed with a loud bang. Oh, my lollipop. She picked up the candy and quickly put it into the import. Lu Jiang looked at the candy falling on the bed with a gloomy expression on his face. He, who has always had a fetish for cleanliness, couldn't bear it. Get out of here. Tang Wan was so scared that the pillow quickly got off the bed and pouted, Uncle, how fierce you are. Lu Jiang's decision to save her life was already a form of tolerance, and he even climbed onto his bed with every inch he took. Lu Jiang sternly rebuked, Don't get on my bed. Tang Wan was extremely aggrieved and said, But my mother said that after getting married, I have to sleep with my husband in order to have a baby. It seems that the Tang family taught her. This silly girl wants to sleep with her, but she still wants to have his child. You can't have any ulterior motives towards me, let alone climb onto my bed. End of this chapter Chapter 6 Whoever climbs the bed is the dog. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 6 Whoever climbs the bed is the dog This man is so narcissistic that he would think she craves his body. Besides, he is still a disabled person who cannot handle human affairs, which is exactly what Tang Wan wanted. Don't sleep, don't sleep. Whoever climbs the bed is the puppy. Dogs. Who are you insulting? Tang Wan pretended to be angry and lay on the floor, but a smile slowly appeared on the corner of her lips. Once the cooperation between the two groups is successful, Qin Lan will no longer be making things difficult for her mother. After the matter is over, she can leave with her mother and regain her freedom. Lu Jiang looked at Tang Wan sleeping on the ground, and no matter how she looked, she looked like a little cat hiding its paws. In the study room. The tall and straight man stood in front of the French window, his long legs looked very attractive. The handsome and cold side face is carved like a divine axe, with an unparalleled temperament like an emperor. The man in a black suit walked over with a serious and respectful expression, bowing his head and saying, Third Lord. Lu Jiang slowly turned his face and gently shook the red wine glass with his slender fingers. He asked in a low voice, Jiang Cheng, what about the investigation you were asked to investigate? Assistant Jiang Cheng reported in a low voice, as you instructed, we have investigated and confirmed that Miss Si is indeed the illegitimate daughter of the Tang family. At the age of seven, I became foolish and foolish after being injured, just like what was rumored outside. Is that right? Lu Jiang's eyes were cold, with an incomprehensible meaning. Jiang Cheng stood silently beside him, knowing very well what Lu Jiang meant. This so dot called newlywed young lady may just be acting and pretending to be crazy. Jiang Cheng slowly extended his hand and made a gesture, Third Master, do you want me to? Lu Jiang interrupted him with a cold smile and said, It's not urgent. Jiang Cheng couldn't help but worry, but if she were pretending to be foolish and discovered your secret. Over the years, Lu Jiang has been hiding the news that his leg disease has healed in order to numb his eyeing opponents. If Tang Wan really finds out that Tang Wan married him for another purpose, it's not too late to kill him again. Lu Jiang lightly pursed the red liquid from the cup with his thin lips, and his cold and murderous eyes looked out the window. Is she really stupid? Just give it a try and you'll know. Today's headline. The wedding of a wealthy family has undergone a major reversal, and Tang Wan publicly proposed to Lord Lu. In less than three hours, this news rushed to the top, and the following message has exceeded one million. People from wealthy families are really good at playing. A foolish woman begged to marry Lu Jiang and became the mistress of the Lu family group. If you don't marry a nephew or an uncle, if you don't want a beautiful man, you will be disabled. This kind of despicable behavior is beyond the control of the transferor. 
It's really funny. How will Lu Tianxi continue to see people in the future? Dot. Lu Family Villa. A loud mouthful resounded throughout the room. You idiot, Lu Cheng roared softly, his whole body trembling. The slap on Lu Tianxi's face just now has not calmed down. Lu Tianxi was brought back from the bar by his subordinates, drunk and clutching his swollen cheeks, kneeling on the ground without daring to move. Lu Cheng angrily pointed at his son and said, We broke off in public, and now we have become a joke for the entire imperial capital. Just now, the Tang family called and said that they need to cooperate with Lu Jiang on this contract. Lu Cheng looked at Tushio's blood pressure skyrocketing and said, I've been planning for so long, you idiot has ruined everything. Dad, Tang Wan is ugly and foolish. Why marry me? Lu Tianxi complained with a suppressed expression, it's not a coincidence to be robbed by the third uncle now. I don't care about that kind of illegitimate daughter. You know nothing. Lu Cheng clenched his fist and said, Tang Wan is not just an illegitimate daughter. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Fulfilling Wife's Obligations You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Fulfilling Wife's Obligations No one in the imperial capital knows that Tang Wan's mother is an unnamed mistress, and her daughter is not an illegitimate daughter. What is she? A mere illegitimate daughter is not worthy of the young master of the Lu family, and besides, Tang Huadong, who made the engagement back then, has already died. But only Lu Qing insisted on this marriage, and there must be a reason behind it. Tang Huadong once said that he would leave all the shares to Tang Wan, otherwise why do I have to make you marry this foolish girl? Lu Tianxi looked surprised and said, What? How could this be possible? Dad, Tang Huadong has been dead for several years. If he really gave the shares to this fool, why hasn't there been any movement so far? Lu Tianxi couldn't help but doubt, Dad, shouldn't this be a lie? It's impossible, he left a will, Lu Cheng was very certain. Others don't know, but I know very well. Lu Cheng and Tang Huadong have a good private relationship, and I have personally heard him say that his will has been made. I didn't expect the little fool to be the heir. Qin Lan must have been unaware of the truth before marrying Tang Wan into the Lu family. In the future, once Tang Wan finds the will, the Tang group will be hers. Nowadays, Lu Jiang holds the most shares in the Lu group, and the father and son have been severely suppressed. Only with the help of the Tang group can we have the opportunity to clean up that damn disability. Maybe Tang Wan, this silly girl, doesn't know where the will is. Dad, I know I was wrong, but what should I do now, said Lu Tianzi regretfully as he thought of this, what else can I do? Lu Qing bit his back teeth and glared fiercely at his son. No matter what method you use, you must snatch Tang Wan back. What? Lu Tianzi was shocked. Dad, but now Tang Wan has married third uncle. Lu Qing sneered, don't worry, it's just a little fool. It's so easy to get it. The next day. It was already noon when Lu Jiang returned home from the group. He pushed open the room door, and Tang Wan had been waiting in the room for a long time. Lu Jiang looked up at Tang Wan sitting by the bed, her beautiful face stunning. The pure and bright light makeup temperament is like a orchid, even surpassing that of wealthy socialites. His scorching gaze fell on her, and a cold smile curved from the corner of his lips. Madam, is there anything important to urge me back? Tang Wan smiled and looked at Lu Jiang. This old fox really knows how to act. Since it's natural to perform the entire set, Tang Wan's beautiful little face showed a silly smile. Uncle, I'm calling you back, of course, to fulfill your wife's duty. Fulfilling my wife's obligations. Does this silly girl know what she's saying? Lu Jiang went to the group this morning and just after the meeting, he received a call from the butler saying that Tang Wan was looking for him, and he rushed back immediately. The car was driving a bit fast, and the people next to me looked surprised and looked at each other. The first six fiancés were all trembling with fear when they saw the third master. 
This silly girl was not only not afraid, but also slept with Lu Jiang on the night of their wedding. Is this silly girl really foolish and brave, or is there some ultimate trick to take down Third Lord all night? Now Lu Jiang needs a wife in name, so that no one will want to place eyeliner around him. Compared to putting in a lot of effort to clean up those women, a little fool is a good choice, at least not to hinder himself. Just whether she is pretending to be foolish or not, Lu Jiang still needs to test it well. Tang Wan walked up to him with a silly smile and said, Uncle, take off your clothes. Take off your clothes. I didn't expect this silly girl to be so straightforward and explicit. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Madam has no experience in this area. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Madam has no experience in this area with a teasing smile, Lu Jiang said, Madam, have you been so anxious since I just left for a while? The servants covered their mouths and chuckled, Wow, Madam is so fierce. What are you thinking? Tang Wan chuckled foolishly and said, What was agreed upon yesterday, did Uncle forget? This silly girl is really foolish. What she said about her wife's obligation is actually to treat her leg disease. The room door closed and Lu Jiang lay flat on the bed. Tang Wan looked at him motionless and said, Third master, you need to take off your clothes. Madam is a doctor, so naturally you should help me get rid of it, said Lu Jiang eagerly. Tang Wan felt like she had dug a hole for herself, but she didn't dare to resist in front of the Yen King. She bravely walked up to him, her little hands groping around his collar for a long time without unbuttoning a button. Lu Jiang showed no signs of anxiety and watched her take off his clothes with great interest. It took Tang Wan a long time to untie his shirt, and she twisted her face to one side to untie the belt around his waist. It took Tang Wan a long time to unravel, but she suddenly lifted her head and met his gaze. She blushed slightly with a silly anger and said, Third master, won't you take it off on your own? Lu Jiang squinted his eyes and kept looking at her, holding down the hand she was playing with the zipper of his pants. It seems that you don't have much experience in this area. Who has experience when a man takes off his clothes for the first time? This old fox is clearly intentional. The perfect figure is exposed in front of me, and the faint chocolate abs make me unable to move my eyes. Lu Jiang looked at her stunned gaze and casually joked, Madam, are you pretty? Tang Wan immediately averted her gaze and said, Uncle, let's start. She started preparing in the morning and slowly took out a cloth bag. Inside the bag was a silver needle of acupuncture and moxibustion. She picked it up and looked at Lu Jiang. Acupuncture and moxibustion. He wants to see what this silly girl really wants to do. There are clear scars on both sides of Lu Jiang's slender legs, which are the injuries left after the car accident. Tang Wan's silver needle slowly landed on the acupoints on his leg. Acupuncture and moxibustion can promote his blood circulation. Soon, Lu Jiang's legs were covered with silver needles, but his expression remained unchanged. Tang Wan's eyebrows furrowed slightly. It shouldn't have happened, it's just that there shouldn't have been no reaction from blood stasis. She gently rotated the silver needle with her slender fingers, stimulating the acupoints on her legs. Mmm. At this moment, Lu Jiang's eyebrows furrowed slightly, and his legs trembled slightly. It still seemed perceptible, and Tang Wan's face showed a smile. Uncle's legs need acupuncture and moxibustion once every three days, and then bathe in a medicine bag. It will heal in less than three months. Lu Jiang looks at her stupidly, but he can't imagine that acupuncture and moxibustion is really powerful. He felt more and more that the woman was pretending to be foolish, sitting up and whispering in her ear. Madam, when will we take a shower? Now. The magnetic base is so seductive, making the atmosphere hot. Tang Wan adjusted her accelerated heartbeat and avoided his gaze, saying, No, uncle, it will take three days. That's too regrettable. Lu Jiang slowly stood up and said, Dress me up. Without hesitation, Lu Jiang probed her and said, 
there are clothes in the wardrobe. Tang Wan took out a shirt from the wardrobe and handed it to him. Madam, won't you help me? Lu Jiang slowly raised his arm and asked Tang Wan to dress him. After taking off his clothes, I still need to dress him now. This old fox has broken legs, is it difficult for him to also have broken hands? Tang Wan originally thought she would find a more suitable partner for the marriage agreement, but now she began to regret it. Moreover, Tang Wan has reason to think that this disabled person wants to seduce her. End of this chapter Chapter 9 You are my first man. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 You are my first man, only children ask for help getting dressed. Tang Wan pouted with reluctance. Lu Jiang became more interested and said, Madam, didn't you just say you wanted to fulfill your wife's duty and forget it so quickly? This old fox is really difficult to deal with. Tang Wan immediately smiled foolishly and said, Uncle is right, I'll dress you right away. She swayed her hands around his chest, one, two, skillfully buttoning her shirt. The smooth skin is particularly fair against the sunlight, and the pink lips exude a charming luster. Black long hair draped around the waist, smelling the faint herbal scent on the body. This smell is refreshing, and Lu Jiang admires her beautiful face up close. Madam is so skilled in her techniques, doesn't she often dress men? Tang Wan straightened her mind and answered very honestly, No, uncle is the first man. Really? Lu Jiang was inexplicably happy when he heard these words. His approach once again made Tang Wan's heartbeat unstable, and she forgot to take her hands off him. Lu Jiang lowered his head and slowly looked at her hand caressing his chest, revealing a playful look. It seems that Madam likes to play hard to get. Qin. Tang Wan touched his chest muscles and looked around. Uncle, where is the Qin? He slowly approached her lips with his thin lips, watching her continue to pretend. Tang Wan collapsed on the bed with a delicate and soft body, while Lu Jiang looked at the beautiful white rabbit beneath her. His hand slowly reached towards her pink cheeks, like a falcon staring at its prey. The scorching breath disturbed her heart. Oh no, Tang Wan's voice is not good. How should she get rid of it now, doodle doodle? The hurried knocking on the door interrupted the atmosphere between the two as someone hastily pushed open the bedroom door. The next second, Jiang Cheng saw the hot scene on the bed and quickly lowered his head to report. Third master, someone has arrived at the old house. The old lady wants to see her. Old lady. Lu Jiang withdrew his hand, along with the murderous aura from the corner of his eye. He said calmly, got it, tell that we'll be there in a while. Tang Wan looked at the fleeting murderous aura on his face, and she breathed a slight sigh of relief as she escaped the disaster. However, the old mansion of the Lu family made her feel a slight chill. Sure enough, the deep water pool of the Lu family is definitely not more comfortable than that of the Tang family. The old mansion of the Lu family. From a distance, this Lu family looks like a palace, and there are several dozen kilometers of private land nearby. Tang Wan, dressed in a goose yellow dress, sat in the car and looked at the magnificent and luxurious mansion in front of her. There are many luxury cars parked in the courtyard, and there are also private helicopters in the super large luxury courtyard, which looks like an exhibition hall in rows. In terms of luxury in the entire imperial capital, the Lu family ranks second, and no one dares to claim first. San Yi. The servants saw Lu Jiang and quickly bowed respectfully. At this time, the restaurant in the villa was filled with top dot notch French cuisine for a candlelight dinner. Tang Wan walked into the villa with exquisite makeup, and the six people on the luxurious dining table looked at her one after another. Her waveless eyes flickered slightly, it was such a lively scene. In Lu Jiang's eyes, there was no ripple at all, and even a hint of coldness. The butler quickly walked to the restaurant and whispered, Madam, third master, third madam has arrived. Walking towards the restaurant, the eldest brother Lu Cheng and his wife sat on the dining table, with the second brother Lu Qing and the newly married wife across from them. 
The woman sitting here is in her forties, dressed in exquisite and dazzling attire. She is the old lady of the Lu family. Su Liu Li. The eldest wife of the Lu family, Jin Wan Wan, caused shame and anger to her family because Tang Wan married Lu Jiang. She stared at Tang Wan as she walked in, her red lips pursed slightly and sarcastically said, Oh, I almost didn't recognize her. Miss Tang is really fickle. She was completely transformed in just one day. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 The Third Daughter Can't Make It to the Stage You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio Chapter 10 The Third Daughter Can't Make It to the Stage Unlike the rumored ugly and silly image, Tang Wan is not only gentle but also very beautiful, as if she has changed. Second Sister Dot in Dot Law by Ruiwei sneered and said, He he he. The third younger brother and sister have changed a lot now, it seems that the rumors are not true. I thought she was an ignorant rural girl, but now she has become the mistress of the Lu family. Second sister dot in dot law is saying inside and outside that she is a scheming bitch, pretending to be foolish and pretending to be a pig eating a tiger. The illegitimate daughter married her nephew to her uncle, and now she has become the wife of the chairman of the Lu group. The old woman in the front seat's face darkened, and the fourth miss, Lu Wanbai, was furious and couldn't help but say, the mistress of the Lu family. The two daughter dot in dot law were frightened and quickly changed their words. Mom, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. My mother is the mistress of the Lu family, what is she? Lu Wan angrily rebuked with a small black face in the imperial capital, people still talk about the family structure of the Lu family after tea and dinner. Lu Jiang was born to his first wife, but his mother died when he was over a year old. As soon as his mother died, the mistress entered the house with two sons, the eldest brother Lu Cheng and the second brother Lu Qing. Unfortunately, this mistress did not have the fate to become a wife and died of illness inexplicably within a few days of marrying into the Lu family. Soon, the current wife Su Yuli married into the Lu family and gave birth to a daughter named Lu Wanbai. The power struggle among the four children and three different mothers of the Lu family has never ceased. In order to survive in this family, Lu Jiang's methods are ruthless and he doesn't give these ambitious guys any chance. Until his father Lu Jingxin passed away five years ago, he handed over the Lu group to Lu Jiang. At that time, it also caused a great uproar within and outside the family. And the initiator of that car accident was one of the people present here. This wealthy family may seem glamorous on the surface, but they are just scheming and scheming with each other, hiding knives in their smiles. Tang Wan could feel the smoke from afar, quietly following behind Lu Jiang. It seems that the Lu family has set up a platform and is preparing to take care of her newly entered daughter. In law. Tang Wan looked at the serious looking Lu Jiang, thinking that his meal was not very smooth either. The eldest lady immediately changed into a smile and said, Today is Mom's birthday. Didn't even the third brother prepare a gift? Lu Jiang spoke coldly, We came in a hurry and didn't prepare any gifts. Madam immediately pointed at Tang Wan and said, Even if third brother forgets, as a daughter dot in dot law, you don't take Mom seriously. Su Yuli's cold gaze swept over Tang Wan and said, The daughter of the Tang family is indeed uneducated. Madame Air agreed and said, Mom, don't be angry. I heard these three siblings are just fools, so they naturally have no manners. Madame sneered, Fortunately, I haven't married my godsend. A illegitimate daughter is not worthy of my son. Lu Qing glared at his wife and couldn't help but stop, All right you just need to say a few words less. Humph. A silly girl from the countryside is also worthy of marrying into my Lu family. Miss Si looked contemptuously at Tang Wan, her tone carrying contempt. People are shallow and often judge people based on their appearance and status. They thought Tang Wan was foolish and reckless, but fortunately she had already gotten used to it, eating happily for herself. Lu Jiang clenched his hand on the wine glass and looked at the fourth miss across from him with a murderous gaze. Lu Wanbai was so frightened that he quickly closed his mouth. 
When he insulted his newlywed wife casually in front of him, they all wanted to provoke him, Lu Jiang. Lu Wanbai couldn't swallow this breath and got up and walked to Tang Wan's side. I heard Miss Tang plays the piano well. Today's mother's birthday, why don't you play a piece to cheer up? Playing the piano. Upon hearing Lu Wanbai's public proposal, the scene fell silent. Everyone in the imperial capital knows that Tang Wan is a fool and doesn't even know a few big characters. Miss C surprisingly suggested that she play the piano, clearly trying to embarrass her. Everyone sneered at her, and the show was about to begin. End of this chapter